Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. In the TV world, a car can make it to the body department in a matter of minutes. In reality, the Impala spent the better part of a month and a half being smoothed, straightened, and gapped to perfection, all in an effort to keep the paint department happy. I don't want to listen to them cry about it, so I get as straight as I can because I don't want to listen to them. We're happy to report no tears were shed upon arrival at the paint booth, but the sheer size of the job left Todd's vocabulary in absolute shambles. You sound right, boy. Big car. <laughs> really big car. <laughs> Which made for a really big job, but nothing a maestro like Todd Wilson couldn't handle. So at this point, we got it sealed. Then I went back in there, let everything flash really good. Uh, then I mixed up our color we have. I went in and put down uh, two coats of color. And then at that point, we come back, let it dry out really good. We reassembled the car, so all the panels are back on the car. Then I applied two more coats of the base just to make sure I had good coverage. Once I had that done, then I went through and let it flash off properly, give it good flash times. Then I came back with a metallic pearl, a uh, silver flake pearl. And at that point, I put two coats around the whole A surface of the car is what we call it, and let that flash off really good. So I let that set overnight at that stage. So then I went through and put down four coats of clear around the whole car, jams, inside, outside, everything was covered in clear coat. And then we baked it for a little bit and just let it set in there for a couple days, let it air out really good before we finally pulled it out. Are there any specific challenges when you're painting a car white? The one thing that a lot of painters will tell you is you almost get snow blind. So you, you got to almost act like a robot when you're spraying a white car because you really can't see you're missed like you can on some of the other colors. Um, so basically you gotta go back in robotic mode and just make sure your passes are nice and even and tight laps. Um, but yeah, white is a little bit different because it's so bright, it's blinding you. Plus you got all the lights in there shining on it and everything else. So it, it's, it's all repetitive. It sound right, boy. formula we came up with and uh, we tweaked it just a little bit. We got rid of a little bit of the yellow out of it because we put the pearl on top of it. I didn't want that pearl to look dirty. So by brightening up the color, that helped put our pearl a little bit brighter too. See, Todd keeps saying pearl. I did not want pearl. I don't like pearl. What's another term for pearl if you don't say pearl? Uh, mica. Mica's another one. That was a suitable answer, but Todd couldn't let me off that easy. Micah, was I right? Actually, it's fairy dust. Oh, oh, fairy dust. Now that's good. Pearl of wisdom, don't mess with the bank guy. This is serious stuff with some seriously awesome results. This I don't want to mess up. I get one shot at making it right. So I spend, on most cases, on most of my cars, two days in the booth. I'll set it up, I'll get it all taped off, and actually I take it back probably more like three, four days between taping it. I'll take a good day and a half just taping it, and I get crazy when it comes to a tape job. I, I want to make sure I have no blow through, leaks, anything like that, so I get crazy when it comes to tape. And I think we achieved that for sure with this. It's, you stand here and look at it, and it just looks like a white car until you really look deep into it. That's when you start seeing the flake. That's all part of the theme. We try to make the car look timeless, seamless, and flawless. The work hasn't been relegated to enhancing the outside beauty. All the internals are starting to get worked on as well. Jerry's been going to town on the AC, the HVAC system, and wiring up the dash with our Dakota digital gauges. It looks awesome and it's gonna be great. That's right, AC in this car. A significant upgrade from the old 440 we used to have in this beast. Oh, uh, you're talking 60, 80 hours. Just because we're not doing factory placement if I get it done 30, 40 hours. This is full of custom, the LS engine, 
And we're doing this is pretty much an update harness for it. That way we can hide all the wires. Right under the hood, like factory, it's all goldy, nice looking. Now our wires up inside the fender, coming out, you're not gonna see them. Like you say, you wanna hide everything. Yep. <clears throat> so we will, we won't see no wires as much as we can. You won't see none of the engine wires, you won't see none of the trunk wires. As much as possible, we're gonna hide. Same thing in here, your AC hose is up inside the fender now. Try to clean it up, make it look nice, modern, but still be able to maintenance it later. With custom comes the occasional conundrum, but Motor City doesn't include solutions in its name for nothing. With well, the engine cover you wanted, the master was too close to the engine for the factory. So we had to move it over roughly four and a half inches, which gave us more than enough room for the engine cover, but also made the engine compartment look much nicer. And everything's not so compact. Now it's where we think is more uniform, it looks better. So this part was easy, move that over is easy, but then our buddy Josh had to move the brake pedal mechanism over, but still keep the brake pad in the factory location so you wouldn't notice the difference in the car. But Todd's got to paint it again. Yeah, Todd's got to paint it again. Well, it's starting to look like a car again. I haven't seen paint on this car in nearly two years. By the next time we see it, it may be darn near complete. We'll just have to see. Deadlines, they're approaching.